Hey, in this uh, series here, I'm just going to talk to you about how to be successful and maybe how to make rich, become wealthy. But um, they go kind of hand in hand, so you can be successful and you can be wealthy. But it all depends on how wealthy you want to be. I mean, billionaire, millionaire, thousandaire, whatever. Or your level of success basically appears to be what you want it to be. If you're happy with just owning a house, a nice car, and having a good retirement, then you're successful. You achieved your goals. But in this this series right here, I think it's only going to be about four or five weeks, and then. But I want to talk to you about how to become successful and possibly wealthy. Now I wrote a book. It's called The Art of Making Money. It's a series of books from P.T. Barning, a guy named Waddell, and some tips I put in there, 42 tips I put in there, and another one. And it is available on Amazon.com. And so the way to become successful is you need to open your mind to new ideas and new beliefs. To become successful, you have to change your way of thinking. You have to follow these new beliefs in order to become successful. So... The first rule is you have to believe that you can become successful. This is where a lot of people fail. They're always saying that they do not believe that they can be successful. But there's two rules that you need to believe in order to become successful. Rule number one is that you have that right to be rich. You have that right to be successful. A lot of people do not believe this. And when they do not believe this, they actually fail and they actually hurt themselves in the long run. The second rule that you really need to believe is what I want for myself, I want for others. So you must want to believe that society as a whole needs to be successful. Not just you. Everybody in this world has the right to be successful. And you need to be able to believe that not only you you are not the only one that should be successful but everyone needs to be successful and so when we go back to the first one you have the right to be rich you have the right to be successful many people doubt this they do not believe they can become rich and they are actually told by a lot of people you are never going to be rich but you remember one thing you have that right don't let anybody tell you any different and then you have to also remember that the ownership of money comes to you in certain ways. Getting rich is not a product of your environment. Granted, there are people that take advantage of people. But anybody in any vocation, any job, uh, any education level, or in any environment can become wealthy. It all depends on how you look at the money and how you want to spend that money. Getting rich getting becoming successful it deals in the necessity of dealing with people and one thing you gotta remember is there'll never be a shortage of money there's no one there's never been a time when the shortage of wealth cannot be created or shared I mean seriously how many more billionaires do you see in this world now than a hundred years ago a lot the world will never run out of gold, silver, or money. There will be enough money to supply the world over a thousand times. And this is the same with opportunity and success. Opportunity will never, ever disappear. So if you follow these steps, you'll be able to succeed. One, you imagine it. If you can imagine something being done, you can do it. Think about what you can be created that's not being created now. Think about what you can create. Think about what you can do that no one else is doing. You must cast all doubts aside. And most importantly, believe in yourself. That means you have to have the right mindset. If everybody has the belief that they can become rich and move forward that belief, nothing can keep them in poverty. If you can become, believe, if you believe, totally believe that you can become wealthy, you will become wealthy. Nothing will stop you if you believe. And remember this, if you do not believe in yourself, who is? Giving up is easy when your dreams seem far away. And life's full of obstacles. You face them every day. But no matter what challenge, some faith will get you through it. 
So never quit believing. Just remember, you can do it. You need to have willpower. And this is the way you become successful and rich is willpower. This is your belief and your energy to succeed. Whatever you do, whatever you do. Now this is the most important. Don't force your will on other people. Do not make you, do not go to someone and says, you need to do this because it's good for you. You need to do this because it's important. It may not be important to them. It may not be what they want. Force it on them. Don't force your will on people because you know what's better for them. You do not know what's best for them or what's going through their mind. Be a creator. There's nothing that you cannot have over time. You can have anything you want over time if you make a goal. No one has anything, no one has anything that you cannot obtain over time. If you find new ideas or services that no one else is doing, you will be wealthy. Think of it first, do it better, and when somebody else starts copying you, go to the next step. Find a new idea. Always find a new idea. Next point is avoid competition. Now competition doesn't mean uh, I'm selling fried chicken and Kentucky Fried Chicken is selling fried chicken so I need to put Kentucky Fried Chicken out of business. That is the wrong attitude. You must create not compete. Create a product. Create a service. Show why you're better than the other person. You don't have to tell the person, uh, people, don't go over there. They're bad. I'm better than them. No. Just your actions alone will show people that you're better than the other person, that they want to come to you. You're not in competition with other people. You're only there to become successful, make money, and help others succeed. You do not have to put other businesses out of business in order to succeed. And you don't have to take anything from anyone. You don't have to cheat anybody. You don't have to drive sharp bargains. You don't have to uh, pay low wages to, to employees. And you do not have to have anything your neighbor wants or want anything your neighbor needs. You do not need to covet anything your neighbor has. You do not have to lie about people. You do not have to cheat people. But when you, this is what a lot of people say, but aren't rich companies out in competition? They are and they aren't. You do not see Coca-Cola and Pepsi bad-mouthing each other. You only see them advertising why you should buy their products. And when you buy their products, people are like, oh, I'm going to buy Pepsi because it's the taste of a new generation. And I want to be part of that new generation. And that's why they hire people famous actors, famous singers to promote their products. And what they also don't do is they don't try to destroy the other competition. Years ago, McDonald's and Burger King, well, Burger King started to go after McDonald's. Burger King had an ad where the king, whatever you have, the Burger King, actually broke into McDonald's headquarters to try to steal the secret recipe to the Big Mac. People hated that. That commercial ended very quickly. They're not trying to destroy each other. They have a big market. They can just go advertise and try to make money. And that's all they're trying to do is make money. They hire workers. In the United States, they pay fair wages. I'm not sure about overseas, but they pay fair wages in the United States. They buy the commodities, the sugar, the cans and everything at fair prices. And they advertise the product so people understand why they should go and buy from them. So the more people get wealthy on the competitive plane, it's worse for others. The more people can become successful on the competitive plane, it's worse for others. Because when you try to destroy another business for your own personal gain, people do not like you. The more people get wealthy on the creative plane, it's better for everyone because everyone makes money no one will stop you from becoming rich no one will stop you from becoming successful except yourself so remain on the creative plane create a product pr create a produce something 
produce information people want people will come to you don't be uh, competitive you don't need to destroy people in the same business and if you're too worried about the store next to yours or the other person that's doing the exact same thing you are and you want to destroy them stop and correct yourself you do not need that do not deal with people unfairly this is how riches come to you do not deal with people unfairly treat everybody with respect the more people know that you respect them the more money uh, more respect you'll get back and the more successful you'll be give more value than you take in, in other words if you buy cloth from someone or you sell cloth to somebody who's like a dressmaker and they they're able to make some dresses out of that cloth you sell and they make good profit selling that it was a fair value to them to buy the cloth however they will always come back to you and buy more and they'll tell the friends and your business will grow however if you start saying well you know what I sold that cloth to them for twenty dollars they made three hundred so I think I'm gonna charge them two hundred fifty dollars no they will not buy from you again so do not do that and another example of fair value is if you took a college course and you learned nothing you sat in that room for 10 weeks you learned nothing it was worthless I did that with a course called CELTA I had to take the CELTA course in order to get a English teaching job at a British curriculum school it was a beginner course I have a master's degree in teaching English the CELTA course is a beginning course to teach in English it's like learning English 089 for an English major it's worthless but I had to take the course in order to obtain a job and when I finished the course they actually came to me and said did you actually learn anything I'm like I only learned a few techniques it was not worth fifteen hundred dollars but the people that never taught English before probably learned a tremendous amount of information where they were able to get a job in a British curriculum school and then that way that course to them was actually worth it so if you took a course and you learn a lot of things that can make you money it's worth it so when you make your customers happy you are getting rich because they will always come back to you so remember be kind to your customers greet them by name remember what by gratitude always be grateful that people are there now I remember one time there was a story of a restaurant waiter that if you came in to eat at his restaurant he would write your name down what you ate and what your comments were and when you came back if he remembered you he'd grab that note and he would ask you mr. Jones would you like the steak you liked it last time it was medium well done how would you like it done today most people would be like wow this guy actually remembered me and when you do that people actually will come back and remember you now this has happened to me several times like when I was in Saipan the lady at the post office would always go and run back grab my items before I would even get to the counter she would have them waiting for me I liked it but when I was in Korea on the other hand I would eat at this one restaurant at least once a week and every time I would go in there I would be asked by the same person are you new here I'm the only Westerner in the entire city why would they ask me are you new here when I ate there a week before it was annoying and another restaurant in Cambodia was right outside the school I worked I would order food I would order drinks along with my friends they would all get their food they would get all their drinks I would never get anything and when I complained they were like what I mean I know one time I said can I get a coffee and the guys like nothing came now do you think I'd like to eat there finally I told the mother I do not eat here I do not buy any drinks here because every time I order something I never get it 
the mother was very irate because for some reason they would never serve me. And I actually started, I mean, I got mad and yelled at the daughter one day, why she always ignores me. Does she want my business or not? And I feel bad I did that. But I was so frustrated after three weeks of ordering food every day, drinks every day, and getting nothing. It was like I was invisible. And one of her friends was one of my students, and I told her, and she goes, oh. And that's when she went and talked to her mom. So for like a year, I sat outside that restaurant and never ate anything. Another thing is take pride. When you help a customer in every means possible, you will never, ever be shortage. You'll never have a shortage of customers. Let you know your customers you'll do whatever you want you can do to make them happy, and they will come back. It's the little things that customers remember, and then they tell their friends. Remember, it's the customers who pay your bills. You are there for them, not they are not there for you. If you tell somebody, this is my store, get out, I don't want you here, they will either troll you or they will never come back. And when they never come back is when you lose business. So remember, find new products and services. Do it better than anybody else. Know your customers and what they want. Give good customer service. Avoid competition. Believe in yourself. Help others. And know there's enough wealth for everyone.